Okay, so this is a video showing the ZTE OpenC uh, freshly flashed with the Android 4.4.2 KitKat ROM. Um, this is not a completely stock ROM, as I was told by my friend who is my resident Android expert. Um, at the very least, the bootloader has been modified. Um, so you can see they had the pre-splash screen, which is a little Android guy, and now it has the breathing Android screen. This is the lock screen. Um, you have tap to hold to unlock, or you can swipe along the bottom edge to access some shortcuts. I don't know if they're customizable, and I haven't really messed with it. Um, but you just tap and hold anywhere, and it just goes to the desktop. The phone performs really fast, actually. Basically, um, Firefox OS seems to be a little bit snappier with opening apps and loading websites, but that's probably due to the fact that the Gecko rendering engine is already preloaded by the operating system. Um, but the keyboard, TouchPal keyboard that's bundled by ZTE in this ROM is actually really nice. As you can see, it has the swipe input. Um, when you press and hold on the letters, it has nice alternatives. The top row is the number keys. You don't have to swap back and forth to the number input screen. Um, the device is really snappy. Uh, radios all work. Power draw appears to be much lower, which I guess isn't surprising given how immature Firefox OS is. Um, they have their uh, special system utility that actually will dump out caches and clean out the RAM to free up some memory. I think that might be part of the Android 4.2.2 AOSP package that Google included, but um, my friend said that was non-standard. Uh, so as you can see, the capacitive area at the bottom of the phone to the right of the center button is tap for menu, hold for multitask menu, and then the left half is your back gesture. Um, so that's kind of nice. It, it you know it navigates really nice and you know, it just seems to work fine. Um, I don't know what speed the phone's actually running at. I assume it's reading the maximum clock rate of the phone. It's basically sitting there doing nothing. I'd be surprised if it was actually pegged at 1.2 gigahertz. Um, but yeah, it's really snappy under Android. Boots quick, shuts down quick. Everything seems to work fine for what I tested. Um, for $76, it feels like a pretty premium Android phone, honestly. You know, no complaints. Uh, the ROM might be a little bit weird since it's not completely stock, but you can probably adjust that if you know what you're doing. And yeah, that's that. <laughs>